Marie Kondo, who made a name for herself on the Netflix reality series Tidying Up, now admits that her home is not, in fact, tidy because she has children. And children basically rob you of your identity. <laughs> and that's what happens here. Okay. <laughs> so I was with you until that last part, but okay. Okay, I'm obviously kind of kidding. Uh, but here's what happens. You have kids and kids need gadgets and the gadgets pollute your home. They're all over the place, okay? I've seen parents with kids, okay? Their dining rooms are overrun with stuffed animals. There are all sorts of weird mats everywhere that the kids can play on. Weird mats. Yeah, the mats, the mats that look <laughs> like puzzle pieces. They're made of foam. 100%. Yeah, they're all over the place, okay. all over the place. Now, are you gonna fight it? To keep your place tidy, or are you just gonna live with it? And Marie Kondo is like, yeah, I'm just gonna freaking live with this, okay? Because I got three of them, three. Now, uh, speaking at a recent media webinar, she says this, my home is messy, but the way I am spending my time is the right way for me at this time, at this stage of my life. Up until now, I was a professional tidier, <laughs> so I did my best to keep my home tidy at all times. I have kind of given up on that in a good way for me. Now I realize what is important to me is enjoying spending time with my children at home. I like when parents like lie to themselves to try to accept the situation they're in, you know? Mm. No, I, but, but I but I actually like this. I like it. I like that my home is messy. I I think that I'm very happy spending most of my time with the kids instead of Having a clean, beautiful, organized home that I like made a career about. Oh, okay. Now let me get in on the fun. Okay, so I'm gonna hit condo on both ends. First of all, that whole time with that tidy up, everybody, just throw away your garbage. <laughs> just throw it. brings you joy, sparks no, joy. She okay. wasn't like that. Hold on, hold on. She was. No. Okay, that was my perception of it. <laughs> um, and then, first of all, what did wives across the country do? Let's be honest. We we're in the honesty business here. They threw they, away they, their husband's stuff. Exactly. Yeah, they, as they, they should. Okay, they came and and it was like, okay, you gotta throw away this, 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 this. And they wanna throw away three quarters of your stuff because they heard it from Marie Kondo. And then when you ask them, okay, what are you throwing away? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, got, I, got, I picked out two or three things. I know, but the whole- Wait, wait, three quarters of my stuff and two or three things, which I know you're actually not going to throw well, away. Well, to be okay. fair to Kondo, her whole message was get rid of things that don't bring you joy. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. In other words, your stuff's not bringing me joy, right? What was that noise you just made? <laughs> That's what me, me and my my kids do this now. This is another thing that kids bring you. They bring you uh, non tidiness yeah. and funny sayings. <laughs> <laughs> Means sure, sure, sure. Okay. No, I love it. I love okay. it. So yeah. But Marie Kondo doesn't explain. Now remember, your husband's stuff stuff might bring him joy, but we don't care about that. It doesn't bring us joy, so we're gonna throw that crap away. Yeah, okay? that's right. Yeah. And so, but more than that, it felt like to me it was judging, right? Oh, come oh, on. your house isn't tidy no. enough. My house is super tidy. I'm like, okay, do you have two kids running she around wasn't creating a mess? Oh, yeah. No, she your house isn't tidy. You I watched a few episodes away. of her show. She's delightful and she does not at all come across as judgmental, okay? I think what you're experiencing is what I sometimes experience when, let's say, we're on vacation and Christian decides to go work out. I get really mad at him. Mm -hmm. Because that sounds it reasonable. Makes, it makes me feel bad. Oh, you for should not take it out on him. To work out yeah. while I'm on vacation. Exactly. It makes me feel guilty, right? Yes. So you're needlessly feeling guilty about something here. No, 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 no. I, look, first of all, Marie Kondo, let's just establish, is guilty, okay? <laughs> Second of all, let's establish that I've never watched the show. <laughs> No, I think of they, course, I think we all know. Of course, of yeah. course. Okay, so am I, uh, you know, Saying that perhaps that drove others to be judgmental. Yes, I am definitely saying that, and I don't mean my wife. I mean, and when that show was hot, almost every woman I talked to was like, "No, you got to tidy up." No, 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 you guys aren't tidy enough. Not tidy really? enough. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what totally what it what it drove. It drove a mania about being more tidy. Okay, so now though we find out the original virus creator, right? Uh, Marie Kondo in her lab, they're cooking up tidiness. Oh my God. All of a sudden, she has kids, and she's like, ah, never mind, I was just kidding. 
No. Oh, you, you were, were you? Well, it's, she's, it's almost kind of a Republican move. Well, I didn't know the kids were gonna be that hard. Now that I'm having to deal with kids, no, look screw at, tidiness. Look at how cute her kids are. The kids are cute. They're super cute. I'll grant also, her cute kids. Like <laughs> white sheets with kids? Is that a good idea? Nah, it's fine. It's yeah. Fine. Anyway, whatever. Uh, look, it, this is fine. I just. I think people just need to know about what they have to sacrifice if they're mm. serious about having kids. Yeah. Right? Are you willing to sacrifice your dining room for toys? Because it will be filled with toys. It will be. Why do kids need so many toys? I don't remember having that many toys when I was a because kid. Because they because they're little apes and apes get, get, want to play. Like watch they any do. Any documentary on bonobos, chimpanzees, orangutans, you name it. You know what the older orangutans do? They sit around and do nothing. Yeah. The young ones, wow, they're, they're running, running around. around, they're throwing things around, they're grabbing a coconut. The coconuts have nothing to do with it, but you get my point. Okay, they're throwing it around and they're having the time of their lives because that's what kids do. They play, they're supposed to play. They also go through a phase, and I've experienced this with many of my nieces and nephews at this point, where the second they see you, they don't, they don't care if you're engaged in a conversation with another adult. They'll immediately interrupt you to say, will you come play with me? Will you totally. Come? And like, you can't say no, you have to say yes. And, and sometimes I want to say no, is that bad? Does that make me a bad person? No, uh, all adults at some point want to say no. And I'm an enormous uh, player, like so mm -hmm. I have earned a reputation from kids. This uncle is not a bad guy. He'll play with you and it's actually kind of fun and he tells good stories, right? <laughs> but once you earn that reputation, it's over. It's over. All the kids are playing with you nonstop every time adults get together. And would I like a break every once in a while to eat the finger food? Yeah, I would. I would. Okay, guys, can we play a little bit later? <laughs> okay. Anyway, back to condo. Last two things. Uh, main point uh, of this story for me is, ha ha, to Marie Kondo. Okay, I just got that out of my system. Uh -huh. And then now the Do serious the point <laughs> is, she says, well, you know that whole thing where I told you tidy up and only keep the things that bring you joy or that spark joy? She's like, yeah, yeah, so I got rid of the tidy up thing. But don't worry, I'm keeping the other half. Half, And then what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna come up with other shows that are gonna make me money. Or I'm gonna stress you out about other things, okay? Good for you, girl, <laughs> Okay, go get but it. But I'm gonna focus on things that spark joy in general. And by the way, all kidding aside, that's a good idea. Mm. And Focusing on things that spark joy instead of stressing people out is the way to go overall and what she should have started with in the first place. And by the way, the real reason she got popular, it wasn't about the tidiness, it was that people thought, oh yeah, wait, why do I have things around my house that don't make me happy? They make me sad, yeah. right? And things that bring me happiness, maybe I should do that more often. Yes, there you go, focus on that. Let me tell you guys a little secret, okay? Um, if you're an adult without kids, stop buying a bunch of garbage, okay? Americans especially love to fill their homes with garbage. Like stop spending money on stuff you think you need because advertisements told you that you need it. Do you really need it? Like the best way to keep your home tidy is to not have a bunch of garbage. That's it, it's very, I mean like I know it's easier said than done. But like I will, I'll tell my family members every holiday season, do not buy me a gift. I don't want you, you buy me a gift, even if I like it, it means I have another object in my home and I don't want that object in my home. Very thoughtful gift that was given to me by our team this year. They got me an air fryer, but specifically a small enough air fryer that I can put it away in the cabinet after using it. Mm -hmm. Smartest team in the world. God bless. Yeah. And of course, the one way that I did use Marie Kondo with my wife was whenever she's thinking of buying something new, I'd be like, Marie Kondo. Mm -hmm. Did it oh, work? Okay. No, of course not. She would instantly be like, no, because this one sparks joy. And I was like, yeah, but is it going to spark joy two years from now when it's cluttering up the place? Probably not. She's like, shut up, we're buying it. <laughs> I'm kidding, largely. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. So really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.